Honey Stills, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I, I am her. And you have arrived to Nista's Nation. And over here we do mainly things, fragrances, whether it is body or home. Today we are here to talk about my September fragrance haul, you guys. So let's just get into the haul, you guys. So these are my fragrances for the month of September. Two of these fragrances are just released. And the other two, they are recently released, okay? So, the first fragrance we're going to talk about is the Paradox by Prada. All right, so this right here is the one full ounce. I did not get a larger size. You still get the luxury of this aesthetically pleasing bottle. The bottle sits like this. And as you can see, I have put quite a dent in this actual bottle of fragrance. You guys, something is going on. No, something is not going on with this Prada Paradox. The fragrance is beautiful. It really is. I really like the fragrance. But I don't know if it's because it's new and it needs to get some shelf life or I need to let the, the oils and the, 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 the fragrance notes settle but I'm getting very minimal projection with this. So I'm just going to put this on the shelf, let her sit there for a while, come back and visit her several months down the line. Then hopefully I will be able, because I don't like giving unjust reviews, you guys, because things change. Even your nose palette change. And I just feel I want to give it a chance. Okay. So basically that's what's going on. But as for now, we're going to just let her permeate okay just sit on the shelf and just keep developing if that's even really real all right next fragrance all right this is the YSL Libre La Parfum YSL has always been on my radar and let me tell you the reason why well I've had YSL Mon Perry, I think the pink juice with the black ribbon on it. My husband had bought me that and I used it all up. Very beautiful fragrance. So now I have this um, La Parfum and I always wanted to get the YSL Lieb or Libre, however you pronounce it, because it was said that it smells very similar to Bath and Body Works Fairy Tale. And those of you who know, I am a fan of fairy tale. I like the fairy tale body care line. So I always wanted to get it for that reason, but I never did. So since there was so much hype around the fragrances for the fall, and I think it's because so many came out at one time. I think it was like five or six fragrances. Yeah, like five or six fragrances that all came out at, you know, around the same time. This got a lot of hype, so I got into the hype, went into the store, sampled it, and it had me at hello. Now, when I went into the store to get it, they had none. They only had the sample with a very little small amount in it. But the SA told me, she said, look, we're getting a shipment in on this day, and when I call you, if I hold it to the side, you're going to have to come that day. So she was a woman of her word. I went right in, got the fragrance. And this is the one full ounce. I did not go all in, but this is a very beautiful fragrance, you guys. This fragrance has a very potent lavender note. And I'm normally not a big fan of lavender, but the way they combine the sweet notes, I think it has a ginger note in it as well as a honey note. The way that they pull those fragrance notes together, I just had to have it. This smells so good, and I think that it is going to be a fall, winter beast. So I will be pairing this with the Fairy Tale by Bath & Body Works to see if it, you know, adds or take away from the fragrance, but you definitely will be getting a review on this sometime in the future. So that was fragrance number two. All right, the next fragrance that I got was... Oh, I'm supposed to be showing you this. The Billie Eilish. Now, this was just happenstance. I had heard the buzz about Billie Eilish. I never went in. I don't really know why or how. I never even looked at a review on it. I would just see a lot of postings on it. And, you know, Billie Eilish, she's relatively popular in the pop world. So I knew of her. But 
her fragrance, I just never took the time to go and get the fragrance, you guys. First of all, this bottle is just everything. 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 Love the bottle. But this fragrance, you guys, don't sleep on it. I'm telling you, this is one good vanilla. And I'm not big. I do like the K.I. Lee vanilla, don't get me wrong. But I'm not your normal vanilla girl. If I'm going to have vanilla, it's going to have to have another note that's equally, you know, noticeable in the fragrance. But this right here. And it wasn't even my plan to buy it. When I smelled it, I'm like, this smells like something. I figured out what it smelled like. If you have not checked out my latest fragrance cocktail, please go and check out that video because this is featured in that video. This is so good, you guys. And I was at work at my desk one day and I was going through my purse and I pulled out the scent strip that had the Billie Eilish on it and I could still smell it and it was so, so beautiful. So... Either that next day or that day, whatever the day was, I went back to the store and I got this because it is really, really good. And I do think that this is a more year-round fragrance. It will wear pretty well in any season, in my opinion. So I've already started wearing and pairing this and Billie Eilish is really nice. All right, so I got the Billie Eilish and you guys... You know, I had a fall fragrance wish list. So go check out that video as well. And in my fall fragrance wish list, I had two bun number nines that are on my wish list. One of them was a must fragrance. I had smelled it many a times in the past, but I had gone to the store recently and I had just decided, I was like, I'm going to get that. So when I went to the store, of course, because they have friends and family. When I went to the store, you guys... Okay, so the friends and family sale, let me just give you a quick. It doesn't end until the third, and I think the third is Monday. The friends and family sale is like 25% off. I think for the most part, the majority of the store, but may not be all, but just let's say selected items. 25% off selected items and 15% off beauty, including perfumes. So you can get your fragrances for 15% off. So that's why I chose this week to go in to get the fragrance because it's always good to sell i mean to save so when i went to the store i had my mind on what i wanted to get I already knew but i did not know that it on well she only had it in store in the 3.3 ounce and i was going to buy a 1.7 and whatever it was that i was going to buy so then my next choice was new york nights and i'm really force feeding new york nights on myself why i don't know and it's probably because it's a hype fragrance. It's probably because I feel like I let go of gem. Because when New York Nights first came out, my husband bought me that fragrance. I took it back, got New Bond Street. So I'm really trying to get it to grow on me. But I'm going to share something with you guys. Probably in a reel or a um, airplane. Or a um, short my essay shared something with me. It's two bun number nines that she paired together that are so, 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 so beautiful. So we'll talk about, I'll probably do it tomorrow so I won't forget. And um, I wanted the musk. So then she started telling me um, what was very similar to musk. And when she showed it to me, I was like, you know, this fragrance really did not get a chance to shine. It's almost like its shine was stolen from nomad which nomad is that girl as well as the all naturals centerpiece now you know i know people are into naturals and i'm glad that they created a formula that's natural and that's safe for the skin i'm happy about that but i don't think that would be one of my picks but this fragrance really did not get a chance to get its shine you guys and it is absolutely beautiful so when she shared with me that it had very a very similar vibe to the Dubai collection, and those of you who know Dubai collection of bun number nine, that is like the top notch. That's like the top shelf of bun number nine. They only come in the 3.3 ounce bottles. They're very beautiful bottles, and it's just like a house within a house, a collection within its own. Very beautiful. 
and she said that this particular fragrance also had the same musk that New York musk has in it. And when I sampled it, it was everything and some. So the fragrance that I got at the Friends and Family is the Off Broadway by Bun Number no. Nine. Look how beautiful it is! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. My essay. She's top notch. She always provides me with class treatment when I go in the store. I really appreciate her. But all this is, this is just a thank you and um, the receipt inside. So that's what that is. And this is, of course, the box. It comes in your standard size box with the cutout. And she's outstanding. So let me show you the bottle. Oh, excuse me. Let me show you the bottle first. Look how beautiful this is. If this doesn't say holiday, festive season, look at this. Look at this bottle. Beautiful. So this is the Off Broadway by Bun Number no. 9. Like I said, this fragrance is third to the last coming out. So this came out in 2021. Then in later in 2021, the Nomad came out. And 2022 the all natural centerpiece came out. So I just feel like it didn't get its just cause. So when you go to the counter, check this out, sample it. So this is what I got. Um, it was 15% off, very great savings. And um, she gave me some lovely bun buns. So I got the Greenwich Village. I got the centerpiece naturals, Madison's, Madison Avenue. New York Knights, another New York Knights. I'm trying really hard with this New York Knights, you guys. She also gave me samples of the um, New York Musk, another New York Musk, my favorite centerpiece. This is bun number nine signature. And I've always wanted to sample this. This is the Gold Coast. It comes in a bottle that looks like this. So what I'm gonna do is just add those to my little bun bun jar. Now I do collect these, you guys. I have some that doesn't even have the spray itemizer on them, so I'll do that later. I'll just add those to the little stash. So of course inside, I don't even think they, well, I don't know if they still do the fragrance club, but this will come feature in your box and you can fill this out, send it back in to the bun store in New York or factory and hopefully you'll get a sample. But of course, my thoughts will be coming out on this. This is grown lady vibe. This is so grown lady until it's really um, masculine friendly. It's a unisex fragrance. Um, some may think that it's too masculine, but I think that it's just right, especially the die down. The die down is more sweet and floral, but it's beautiful. So we'll save all that until later. Those are just my initial thoughts. So I want to thank you for coming back. This is my September fragrance haul. If you would, please leave any comments of anything that you purchased in September that you think that I should give a try, or if you purchased any of the fall release fragrance, or if you're just a fragrance lover and a bun lover, please leave those comments below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And do not forget, you, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.